welcome back to another video <laughs> where I got my universal yums came in and this one is from Germany I've had the Germany before but that one was the smallest box so this is the largest box Ooh. so we're gonna have more stuff in it um today I am joined by my sisters and from my cousins you've seen her in very very old videos but she in the States yeah. now. So let's get her done. Get her done. So there's still some blank stickers in there. That's not important. I'm excited to see what Germany has to offer us. So gonna go through the stuffs here. And we like to teach you a little something about the snack we eat because we know want to know what we put in our mouth. You know, you should know everything you put in your mouth. Facts. Okay, so and we're gonna have to go through and find it like a treasure hunt. Okay. In I here. So a cinnamon almond cream wafer. Oh wow, that sounds really good. So should we look for it? Yeah, we gotta have to look for it. Usually my mom's on the side looking at stuff. But we gotta go on. Wait, this is hard. I don't know where it is. Oh, oh hey, will you look at the oh. picture, Genia? Where oh, this one. Right here. We found Ooh, it. They look good. We found it. Yeah. Can you just show it to the camera? So, <laughs> You guys can open it if you want. Okay. Toasty treat open inspired it. by wintertime Berlin. So excited. But hey, you open it because okay. it's so the same. Berlin. Okay, so open this yum. It's hard to open. Yeah. Okay, got it. Open this yum and your nose will instantly be transported to Germany's iconic Christmas market. Oh it's my in, god, I love their it's Christmas crumbly, market. It's crumbly, so guys. marked. The country puts on over 3,000 every I year. Like this one. Anyway. You can always count on stalls brimming so with good. handcrafted gifts, awe inspired light festivals, and paper cones overflowing with warm gibbons. That's true. That is actually true. <laughs> Cinnamon roasted almonds. With this yum, you'll find the cozy flavor in a super crispy, creamy wafer. You'll also find that it's never too late for a little holiday cheer. Can we eat it? I'm excited. Oh, yes, oh, you can eat it. Oh, okay. No, you can eat it. You don't have to ask my permission. I've actually went to the Christmas market <gasps> in Berlin, and it's literally wow, this is actually really? really good. I know. It's like creamy and light. See? Now, the ones that we do try to put it off to the side. Wow, I'm honestly, it's so good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice cinnamon. Cinnamon and medium. Mmm, man, this box is good. Mm, right, that's what I said. Okay, and there goes cappuccino milk caramels. Germany. I know, I mean, so first, everything's 
Journey's not bad. I like, know. they're upping the game, honestly. Well, they clearly haven't tried this. For German, rhubarb is the wow. sweet Why reward. Why are you trying any, by the way? Because I gotta read the thing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, you have to try it, too. I'm not gonna read it, too. Oh, my I God. my videos, though. This chocolate is so creamy. For German, rhubarb is a street reward for enduring the country's extra long winters, and locals make the most of their reward. They use it in jams, streusels, meringues, mm. oh, very strawberry, compotes, rich puddings, spritzes, and of course, strawberry and rhubarb pies, which some believe to have been invented in Germany. Mm. With this yum, oh, okay. Real bits of strawberry and rhubarb meet white chocolate yes. in a flavor sensation that's sweet, juicy, and decadent at, all at once. Oh, I didn't show them. We couldn't think <laughs> of a more mouth-watering way to kiss winter goodbye or to kick off our extraordinary German adventure. It's good. Like, it's creamy, but it's very mm -hmm. strawberry. Like, yeah. those pieces you hit you. Yeah, it's strawberry so good. So far, I'm really surprised by this little coffee caramel. Like, that was really good to me. It was. Love you, little car car. <laughs> it's like a little... What's your guys' favorite? My favorite so far? was the almond one. That was good too. Yeah. What about you, Maya? So, so far, you only tried three things. So you still have a favorite. Okay, you know what? That's not how it goes. Okay, sorry. Okay. Puffed rice and creamy milk chocolate bar. Okay. Puffed rice. Germany's way creamier take on crunch bars. Oh gosh, creamier. It's all about creamy, isn't it? I know. Oh wow. If you have puffed rice, you owe Ferdinand Schmacher. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, okay, we'll get that later. Thanks. Here, guys. Sorry, here you go. After immigrating to the U.S. from Germany, he began selling. <laughs> sorry, here's some more things. That's okay. I can take this. <laughs> no, don't don't do that. I don't, why? Because that's, I don't know. Well, we did clean the floor, but here, this is okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay. It's really good. Mm-hmm. That's so, good. He began from selling ground oats from his mill. Oh, I don't mill. like it. Just to cheat. Like the rice is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. No, back home. From this very mill emerged the Oaker Oats Com Quaker Oats Company. Oh, oh, that's interesting. The pioneer of puffed rice cereal. Though back when they marketed it as the food shop from the guns of peace. What the hell? As the rice was puffed <laughs> via past <laughs> pressurized cannon. The yum in your hand is just the latest German puffed rice innovation, slathered in milky, creamy, and decadent chocolate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ferdinand. Wow, I mean, so far everything is. I'm not crazy about the rice stuff. I just don't really like that in general. Yeah, but everything is still good flavor. Go Germany. Mhm. Mhm. What's next? I'm anxious. Girl, I'm your horses. Ooh, cola candy. German cola candy. Germany's most popular soda and a chewy candy. Okay, it's so cool. Oh, it's chewy. Probably like gummy bears or something. That's probably gonna be small. starting here from all these sweets. We just left this dessert place. Cake place. I yes. ate a huge piece of cake. Huge. Then don't try it. Oops, I burped. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Is there only one in here? Oh, no. no. It's like this baby, the last one I tried. Oh, there's three. Oh, okay. oh there's three? Okay, let's try. Is it gummy, okay. Maya? Oh, no. Wait, is it? Kind of squishy. Is this like it's squishy. Like a now and later or something. Ooh. Okay, this is white. I'm surprised That's by that. That's weird, yeah. I don't know if you can see. I'm not mm -hmm. getting up, so just. But it smells dirty. During, like the, cold, 
During the Cold War, East Germans couldn't enjoy Coca-Cola because it was seen as a symbol mm -hmm. of the West. Mm -hmm. So in 1957, crafty locals, crafty locals created their own Vita Cola. It was so sweet and lemony that even now, 31 years after the Berlin War fell and Western brands were allowed back, several areas of Germany remain among the last in the world where domestic cola outsells Coke and Pepsi. Oh, wow. Isn't hmm. cola Coke? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Uh, this mm. is interesting. It tastes literally like Coke, but um, it's but weird. It's and, yeah, it's in candy form. Yeah. I just had a drink of Coke. <laughs> I'm ready to experience. Yeah, there's Coke. Okay. Well, I will try Zoom later. If I cannot, if y'all want to Zoom for this, if I cannot read and try them at the same time. Okay, these I have tried multiple times. I do not a fan of them. Why does every place have some variation of ketchup? Chips? I know, right? Ketchup potato sticks. Okay, so they're not chips, they're sticks. Sounds German. The German snack for anyone who loves fries. Oh, okay. Um, is so. any food combo as iconic as ketchup and fries? In Germany, yes. Ketchup, fries, and currywurst? Oh, uh, yeah. That, that does not sound... Okay, we're putting it's it like, in my dress. Why? I think currywurst is like some kind of hot dog. Those are interesting. Okay. They taste like veggie fries. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're, they're ketchup and veggie fries. Interesting. Mm -hmm. The classic dish made by pouring a mix of curry powder and ketchup over grilled German wurst sausage, of course, and, and pomace fries mm -hmm. was first made in 1949 Berlin. Now it's... Ubiquitous? <laughs> I've never seen that before. What is it? Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. <laughs> okay, across all, <laughs> across all major, we learn every day. Yeah. Across all major cities, but none more than Berlin. It's even traditional in every mayoral candidate to have a photo op at the currywurst stand. Okay, currywurst sounds disgusting. I'm sorry. Yeah. It sounds like Here, the worst curry ever. <laughs> right? <laughs> Here you'll taste the spicy ketchup and fries classic and an extra crispy snack. Even without the worst, this snack might just be Berlin's best. Yeah, I don't wish to have the worst. Thank you. Yeah. That was a black thing. Mm -hmm. I'm, my stomach's starting to hurt. I ate so much earlier. <laughs> okay. I actually like these. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't like Spring them. onion rings. I like onions, maybe. Sweebles. 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 Yes. More over. Uh, move over, onions. Germany does it better. Oh, we'll I'll see be about the judge that. of that. Right. Okay. Time to explore the Weimar Onion Festival. Uh, originating back Tyler in cute. 1653 as a way for locals to share their onions so for cool. winter. Share their onions for winter? What? It's Germany's oldest folk festival, 157 years old than Oktoberfest. Today, over 300,000 annual attendees stock up on fresh onions. Relish the fame in onion pie, ew, and watch the crowning of the onion queen. What the fuck? Wondering why the festival is so popular? <laughs> Just open up this outrageously crunchy oniony yum and see how long it takes anyone nearby to gather around. So, oh, okay. Yeah. It reminds me of Funyuns, but not as like artificial fake tasting. Mm -hmm. Like it's very more authentically onion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is all like, like just like American snacks. They try to just be like, oh, we're better. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. They're kind of tasting a bit better. A dark chocolate covered marzipan bar. Oh, we've seen that before. Oh, it's a lot of food for little mama. I'm little mama. This, I just said it's the big version. The one I click a dumb dumb. What are you talking about? I just said it's the bigger version. So of course it's going to be a lot of food. Oh, okay. Smooth. Apparently, I'm acting like a dumb dumb. <gasps> if you keep talking to me, I'm gonna come across you as smack you in the face. <laughs> Smooth, nutty, chocolatey bliss from Germany. The small city of Lubeck has one very big, very sweet claim to fame. Why it's do the I have world. Fur all over me? Huh? I what? just realized, like, why do I have fur all over me? Because <laughs> we have animals. Sasha. Probably <laughs> Sasha sheds. Oh. Maybe she was lying in the sweatshirt. <laughs> we, um, there should be a uh, lint roller in one of your bags. <laughs> what 
Roller's your basket. Like from you. A what? A lint roller. It's, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I just realized maybe Tasha's like in my room or something. No, it was probably like before they bagged them up. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Like if it was like folded, she would like lay on the Yeah, floor. maybe. She likes to eat uh, Yeah. Sorry about that. This is an animal house. <laughs> Back in the 13th century, Lubeck became the capital of an enormous trade union known as the Hennepidic League. So it enjoyed a steady supply of luxury ingredients like almonds, which were used to make luxury confections like marzipan. Today, the city's sweet reputation is stronger than ever. There's even a marzipan museum featuring historical figures made out of marzipan. Okay. That's interesting. Ready to taste a treat centuries for of Germans have been nuts for. Well, it's not really because my pan is a yeah. basic thing. I don't know how I feel about it. We shall see. No, you just did it like that. <laughs> I mean, we've had my pan stuff before, so it's not really that unique. So Are you going to give us um, pieces of it? No. She said... <laughs> My little lollipop. Okay, what's next? Do you want some sooner? Oh, the pork crisps. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Pulled pork chips. Sorry, we are not going to taste that. Because we are halal. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Treat yourself to a bag of juicy German oh, garlic. Wait, this. I hate this so much. It's oh, so God. bitter. Not, oh. It's bitter. It's <laughs> bitter. It's bitter. Do you need something? I do need water. I do not like water. <laughs> Call it. But Can everything like, else has been I, really good so far. Usually oh, really I'm the good. one spitting up stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. We will not be tasting these. Mm -hmm. um, you can't visit Germany without a pit stop in Monich from Oktoberfest. Why is Oktoberfest so popular in Oh, I was supposed to go to that. I had tickets. The folk festival, <laughs> now the world's largest, began in 1810 as the marriage celebration between Bavarian royals with the horse race as the main event. Nowadays, it's all about good beer, music, costumes, and plate after plate of Germans' juiciest meat, from worse to roast ham to pulled pork. As per usual, obviously. Consider these mouth-watering and shockingly vegetarian... Excuse me? What? But it's uh, pork, and it just said vegetarian. Okay. Crisp your ticket to the 16-day celebration, though we doubt they'll last that long. I'm sorry, how can you be pulled pork and you're vegetarian? Um, Are you... Well, maybe, these, maybe these chips don't really have meats in them. They just have the flavor, so that's what it means. But regardless, yeah, I don't care you if don't you're pass. trying. Yeah. Okay, now for the candies again. I have one with the chips. The candies! Uh, assorted sour fruit candy. I don't feel like eating this one, so I'm a pass. Well, they're not looking for your reaction. I thought that's exactly why you guys tuned in. They're <laughs> looking for my reaction. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna fall. So, I pull on you. Well, you it's just like taffy. Oh my god, this tastes like really cheap ass taffy. Really? Like what flavor taffy? Like not laffy taffy, but like a cheap version of it. Um, <laughs> a cheaper. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like cheap laffy taffy. Girl, shake that laffy taffy. Oh yeah. Inappropriate. Taffy girl. <laughs> Drink your tea, everybody. Mm -hmm. 
Mind your business. Drink the or tea. Or else you won't like digest anything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is supposed to be the longest video ever because y'all just, y'all just, okay. What is that? There's a grapefruit, but what's this? I have no idea. Like, it's some weird kinds of fruit. Do you know what this is? Maracua? I don't know what that is. Grapefruit. No, that one was grape. Oh, I'm about to eat papers. I'm like over those little white mm -hmm. fruit squares. Yeah. No, thank you. I don't really like candies with that. Like, look at me you over it. Yeah. You haven't even tasted it. I had a bite of the other one, the cola one. The cola oh, one. no, 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 no. I don't like that. Is it bitter because it's grapefruit? I don't like grapefruit. Taking one for the tea. Right. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> really? These are an American snack, but these are fire. <laughs> oh. Oh, mama, no. <laughs> Probably eat little itty bitty mouth teeth. Yep. See, that's why you're Ooh, supposed to good. Oh, this one's good. I don't know what that is, but that's good. Mmm. Okay, I don't know why it says Hansel and Gretel. Why are we Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> that's funny. Mmm. Anyway, if there's one thing to learn from Hansel and Gretel, oh, there we go, it's that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Excuse you? That is not the, the what you call it, the thing that you take from a Hansel and Gretel story. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that story is. It don't trust your stepmama. <laughs> That's what it is. Was it the stepmama? I forget the story. So the stepmama abandoned them in the woods. Aww. Oh, damn. So it's uh, stepmothers are evil. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> or a house by its cake walls. Don't judge a house by its cake walls. Yes, do that. If you see a house with food <laughs> on it, do not go and eat it because the ugly old little hag going to pop out the window and be like, come in, children, let me make you fat pork and eat you. <laughs> I'm like a black and white cannibal. <laughs> sure the sparkling sugar windows might seem super awesome what we all know the witch on the other side was well not super awesome keep that in mind with this young why do they call everything a young because it's so not so young no everything has to be young it may look plain as you unwrap it but one shoe will reveal, will reveal a succulent burst of apple passion fruit black currant or grapefruit a much, much better surprise than an evil witch, don't you think? No! Some of it is not. Excuse you, you. Sorry, I'm just struggling. Oh, and you're the one that said you weren't hungry. <laughs> it's Liar! Just, it's just enticing. Liar! Okay, well, that's a sour cherry oh, cookie. Oh, what's this? It's a sour cherry cookie. Here, my name. Soft and buttery with luscious German cherry. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Is it worth it? But it's like heavy. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going no, in. Go for it. Pro tip. If a giant offered you cherries. Damn, this is good. Say no. Right? I'm going to say yes. Say no. In the grim tale, the valiant little tailor, a malevolent giant lowers the uppermost branch of a cherry tree into the title, into the title tailor's hand, supposedly so he can taste the fruit. But when the great giant lets go, the branch springs upright and the tailor goes flying. Fortunately, the tailor Ooh. later uses his wits to outsmart the giant. And fortunately for you, there are no giants standing in the way of these buttery cherry cookies. You might have to fend off some jealous onlookers, though. Not really. They're not that good. They're actually pretty good to me. They're like buttery and soft and like fruity on the inside. Well, we ain't got time to finish that. <laughs> Chocolate covered roasted almonds. Oh, how original. Ooh, wow. Like we haven't had that before. We literally have a box of those like right there. And they're fire. German cocoa plus roasted almonds equals pure bliss. Ah, it's like I, I'm full, but I just want to try. Of okay. course you are, Fetty Beth. <laughs> You've heard of wishing upon a star, but according to the Brothers Grimm, you should actually be wishing upon something oh, a wow, whole lot so closer good. to home. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. Almond trees. Girl, this is actually so good. Okay, so we we'll, next time we see an almond tree, make a wish on the almond tree. European snacks, chocolate, everything is just like better. Yeah. Our stuff is so artificial and big tasting. Mm -hmm. Oh, you no, I don't like the outside of that. <laughs> oh no. In their tale, the almond tree, a woman heads to the titular tree the titular and wishes tree. for a baby boy. And when it eventually blooms, she miraculously gives birth to a son. 
So before you dig into these rich chocolate coated almonds, you may want to quickly Google almond trees near me. We're not sure you'll be wishing for more. Don't tell us what to do. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Bro, that video is hilarious. This needs to be a two part video because bitches are full. Do y'all not listen? I just said this is the biggest box. I know what I'm saying. Uh, y'all need to use your ear, not flare. Uh, oh my god, we still have two more pages. Starcia to Starcia oh, Tella. Poopo balls. Y'all, y'all need to shush. Y'all missing everything. You know, I'm not, y'all even gonna know what you put in your mouth. I just wanted to know I ate a cake literally this big right before. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to swipe you in the face right now. She's about to swipe you. Yo, shut your me. mouth. Shut your mouth. I ain't even Boy. here. I'm a hallucination. <laughs> Y'all know you. Please this this, you know this, this, this why it only bites you Please in the video. You, know that right. you, are, you need to shut your face right now. This will be my shut last your video. Shut your face. You ain't gonna come on this video anymore. You know why? I'm gonna so shocked in I'm your face. My Look at her. <laughs> Yeah, peanut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
play Germany. We should make that a trip then. Because they got good shit. Maya, I was supposed to go this year. You should go. Oh my gosh, we got more balls, y'all. Oh my we got God. more balls. Oh, come You're on. You're such more balls. balls. Coco dusted marzipan balls. Okay, enough of the marzipan. Come on. Germany's traditional Christmas time treat. <laughs> okay, marzipan balls for Christmas. How you like them apples? Oh, I'm sorry. How you like them nipples? Oh, now you got nipples balls and nuts. You want it? Damn. Damn. I don't know. I think it, can I pass? Yeah. I In think. Germany, if someone gives you balls. hold up, I kind of like these. What are these balls? <laughs> you know, like those little fruit things. Marzipan. Oh, those yeah, little marzipan okay. fruits. Yeah, I can. It kind of reminds me of those. Yeah. Oh, what are those called? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're exactly like, like that. I, I think. I think. Look. <laughs> they're like flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! This is exactly like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna it's say. Mm -hmm. I actually like these. Yeah. It's sweet. Um, <laughs> In Germany, if someone gifts you a potato for Christmas, it means they really like you. Oh, really? Yeah. So Wait, if you get a gift as a, if, you, if someone gives you a potato. Yeah. Are they like you? Here's a potato. So they give potatoes. <laughs> it's like, no, here's a potato. <laughs> we got here the nuts and balls, too. We got the nuts and balls. These look like um, little round potatoes. Oh, look at them. Oh, yeah. But not just any potato. We're talking about, about these are marzipan kartoffeln. What? Or oh. marzipan potatoes, which actually aren't potatoes at all. They're balls of soft, silky marzipan that are coated in chocolate and then dusted the in cocoa powder. Potato. Yeah. You can see why they're one of Germany's top gifts. Not really. They're and nice. yes, it's safe to assume we really, really like you. We wanted you to have a whole sack of these potatoes. You wanted us to have a whole sack of balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, a sack of balls. Oh my god, like this language. <laughs> like language. A sack of balls. They wanted us to have a sack of balls. They love us that much. Wait, you guys, like I'm, I'm just so impressed with everything so far. I really like the marzipan. I really like the cookies. I really like the caramel. We made a mess. I like the chips the most. The Wait, chips, the bunions, the things, everything. Go Germany. Wait, oh so my yeah. god. That, I just did some like Hitler thing and I didn't mean to. It might come off Hitlerish. I was like. <laughs> I was just trying to dance. Okay. Really? Hitler? No, no, I think it was that thing when they just... I did it. Oh, okay. I didn't Dude, you can that. do this and not be okay, Hitler. Sorry. You didn't say it. I'm just saying it's Hitler. Yeah. Trump is <laughs> Hitler! <laughs> Trump is Hitler! <laughs> no, I literally have people back in Lebanon. They'd be like obsessed with him. They're like, we love Hitler. Why? Like, no. Wait, why? I don't know. Oh, no. my God. That's, that's fine. I have no... Oh, Layla Bailey's. Bailey's. <laughs> Wait, yeah, because that's cobble too. I'm telling you, we didn't have this one. 
Cappuccino milk caramel. Is this cappuccino milk caramel? No, this that's is classic. Fine. This is the classic one. So wait. This is the soft This, this said classic. I can see it right there. This was supposed to be. This is the soft butter caramel. And those were delicious. So I'm taking one for the road. Rich caramel <laughs> made with Hamburg cow milk. Mm -mm -mm. That's uh, you might not know it, but you may have already tried German caramel. Ever had a Werther's original? Oh, They're lovely. German. They're German. Beloved by grannies worldwide, the hard caramels were created back in 1903 in the German town of Werther. But we should be clear, even if you've had a Werther's, you've never had a German caramel like this young. These Koban bonds, cow candy, made from that fresh like milk and butter, will we'll show you the softer, gooier side of German caramel. Wait, I found it. Oh, Here's okay. the one from earlier, the cappuccino one. Yeah, so this earlier. is the cappuccino. Okay. If you want to try that now. Well, yeah, I'll we'll make some cappuccino. Soon if you want. I can feel like cappuccino. I gotta throw up if I stuff that here. Can you I'm just up? like anxious that I'm like... full, but I'm like. Okay, how to Should we just split one so we don't waste our money? Yeah, yeah that's true. true. But don't be splitting it with your nails. I don't know what your nails is in. Okay. You should put it in there. No, I gave both to you. Well, oh, shit, it's huge. Yeah. We'll bite from the same thing. Because we make out. Just kidding. Oh, oh damn. No, oh, good. that does taste like coffee. Yeah. Very coffee, but such a good man. I'm so impressed with Germany. Mm-hmm. Mama like that. Mama like that. <laughs> Why is that funny, bitch? What the hell, man? There's like another one of there in here. Like, what the hell? Well, that was definitely the caramel. Where are they? I'm gonna have two minutes of video. You have big bites. Bitch! Oh my god, will you stop opening stuff without me what? telling you? Sorry, I didn't know I needed permission. Alright, I think why you literally are not doing a video with me next time. Yes, I am. Why you are, no, you are so incompetent right now. I'm so like, competent. If people try to be like, you need to label in this video, it's like, you know why. Really you know why, because she incompetent. Everyone, please comment and say, you're so mean to Layla, and leave sad faces for me. No, well, you know what? You're not being in this video. I'm going to smack you in the face. If you think that Layla's being bullied, yeah, just like, <laughs> drop a comment. <laughs> if you, yeah, you think I'm being mean, then get the hell out of my comments. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna come after you. I'm going to come after you. You me. I'm going to come after you. No, 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 don't think I'm joking. I know I'm a, I'm a key stalker over here. I'm a key stalker. She this is so you know yes. I keep my room stocked. Don't come up in my room. Don't come up. You know, Melissa McCarthy? She's going to make the heat. wish you dead. The heat, she, <laughs> like her fridge, her fridge, she's like, ain't nobody coming in here because I keep this thing stocked. I keep it stocked too. Okay. Period. Okay. Cookie dough milk chocolate bar. This is amazing. Amazing. Spoon looking good cookie dough in each bite. German folks typically typically only invite close friends and relatives over to their homes. Uh, okay, that's where I am, thank you. <laughs> so if you're invited for the first time, it's an occasion you'll want to get right. Here's the lockdown on etiquette. One, handshakes are customary. Two, you should greet everyone in the room, even the kids. Oh, darn. I hope so. And so three, that's <laughs> always bring a gift like wine, flowers, or chocolate. Mm -hmm. This decadent yum filled with melt in your mouth cookie dough would more than do the trick. It's one of our favorite chocolate bars in the world. It's yes, so good. Really. It's so good. Okay, strawberry and licorice caramel. Why you have to try this? Just ain't nobody trying that. It literally tastes like I cookie dough like so on the good. inside. Like cookie, what's it called? Frozen cookie dough on the inside of mine is so Ooh, good. 50% juicy and 50% bitterness. 100% yum. Uh, no thank you. So I, good. That was so good in my mouth, I just want to savor it. Man, that was, was that so good for you? Like that was yeah, delicious that was to me. Really I miss being on my phone. This has been a long video. Mm -hmm. Don't act like I didn't warn you. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. It looked like the ice cream. I'm gonna gain five pounds from this though. So. Motherfuckers better good. like this video. This ain't my fault. Yeah. You ate so much. <laughs> you ain't That's supposed true. to eat it. You're supposed to try it. That's your fault. It's my fault. On October 3rd, 1990, German separate states were reunited as a single country for the first time in 45 years. So now, 
Germans celebrate October 3rd as Unity Day. Yeah. Parades, concerts, and fireworks make it easy to get in the spirit of unity. What better way to get in on the celebration than with the delicious union of juicy strawberry and bittersweet licorice in an ultra soft caramel? Hint, there is none. Wow, that was honestly a 10 out of 10. Well, look, we get a free drink. I know, it tells you how to make them. Oh, no. cute. Strawberry. And I think sometimes they give you... Oh, cool. A German dish. Mm -hmm. Sometimes That's they give you dish in here. Wow, this is my favorite brand that you've ordered it didn't, from. It, yeah, it didn't used to um, be a big book like this. It used to be just a small little pamphlet. This is amazing. Definitely recommend. And her last oh, one, yeah. Italy, was good too. Wow, okay. 10 out of 10. My favorite was so much. Same. This chocolate thing, the little onion thing, yeah, the, the chocolate cookies. thing was so good. Woo! The chips are like my favorite. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Um, the okay. marzipan thingies. So that was that. Oh, hold on, I have it from. She's out of trouble. She got something. <laughs> okay, okay. Got thank you. Burn. I need some assist kiss. Thank you. Okay. Um, that is all for this video. I don't know how much it is. I'm sorry. It, it took so long because the dumb dumb over here. Um. In here. <laughs> That's a dumb dumb too. Oh crap. Uh, Period. <laughs> okay. So Germany. Okay. We tried your bigger box. I don't remember what what it was a year before or two, whatever. But um, you was pretty good this time. Okay. But low key, we don't we don't want your nuts and balls. Please keep your nuts and balls to yourself. Keep okay? your balls to yourself. I know. I know that <laughs> it's a sign of your love to us, but we we don't want nothing nuts and balls. <laughs> we don't want them nuts and balls, and we don't want your ball sacks either. Keep them, keep them to yourself, please. Please and thank you, Okay, um, okay but all my subscribers, yeah, so please thank you so much for subscribing. Um, leave some comments. If you think I was getting bullied, don't forget in the comment back. Yep. Cut your mouth. Uh, leave some, she gonna come back to you. Leave don't some forget. comments in here. Uh, let me know if you, you know, if, you, if you've if you been to Germany, yes. okay? That's a leave comments if you've been to Germany. It's a good one. Um, and let me know. If you got any big chills ideas that we gonna do, um, I think we gonna do um, a chocolate fountain, dip some stuff in some chocolate fountains. Okay, if we gotta enjoy some chocolate dec decadencies, <laughs> whatever the favorite word is, I can't say it. Um, okay, and that is all. Okay, so uh, stay true and do you. Okay. Bye. Okay. And I'm gonna have to manually come up here yeah, you're gonna have to and turn off and turn off the thing. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. <laughs>